and then the next thing we'll do is um, use chloroform you know chloroform I, I earlier on explained this for messy killing right yes so we're going to cover this container with this Enough, but within a few minutes, when the fumes get to it, you can begin what you are supposed to begin. Any progress? Maybe this rat is a Nigerian at the back. Okay. Are you noticing any change? What was happening? Now in this process, or in this stage, the heart rate will increase. Just as in humans, when you are having uh, an emergency issue or something that you the least expect, all of a sudden somebody catches you, you find out that your heart rate will start beating fast and adrenaline will be released into your body, into your bloodstream, so that you can be able to be agile to take the decisions that you cannot take on a normal day when your body is at rest. Now, for this um, specimen, you discover that the heart rate is beating faster because I held it and it was screaming. You understand? So this is just a simple uh, reaction to how adrenaline works. It's just like just shooting and blasting. And you can see that initially the activity, the bodily activity of the rat was increased until I used chloroform. And you can see how it is becoming numb at a point. Do you realize that? So can we can we observe this? What do you notice? What do you notice? Is it still alive? Are you sure it did not faint? Let me shake it and see. Can you see? Can you see this? So what does this tell us? It's dead. Now you don't jump with chloroform, right? Even this um this napkin for example. Don't jump with it. You can see the slobbiness, right? You can see the way it is. 
Now, this is the right way to hold an organism. 